Steam Drunk? The reason I started doing reviews of Steam games is because I wanted to see if there were any modern games that would fit as a Super Nintendo game, in terms of gameplay at least, or maybe even find a game that reminds me of some of the classics. The Swapper is the first game I found that evokes vivid memories of Super Metroid. Seriously, just take one glance at this game at any point, it's obvious what the influence is. But thankfully this game isn't just a shameless copycat, and there's real substance here beneath the surface. The story here is that humanity has used up all its natural resources on Earth. Oh come on, over 20 years later and we're still using the same story as Low G-Man and Journey to Silius? Anyway, there's seven manned outposts in deep space where the crews gather resources to be sent back to Earth. One crew decides to head out and explore a planet that inhabits these electrochemical rocks that somehow invade their dreams? Okay, I rescind what I said earlier and give them points for originality there. The crew is eventually able to harness the power of these rocks to create a cloning device that makes up to four clones and you can transfer your being to one of them as long as it's in your direct line of sight. Of course some crazy ambitious scientist takes things too far and people start dying for mysterious reasons and things escalate from there. Not too unlike how the narrative for the movie Alien unfolds. Anyway, the real hook here is the nature of the gameplay, a 2D platformer where you use the cloning mechanic to explore huge maps and solve some rather ingenious puzzles. Your clones all move in the same direction, and at the same speed as you do. And like I said, you can switch at will who you want the main control clone guy to be, as long as he's in your line of sight. If you're in mid-air, the game will kind of pause to allow you a few seconds to make your move. Some areas will have lights that prevent certain functions that you have to work around. Blue lights prevent clones from being created, red lights prevent control swapping, and purple lights prevent both. Okay, so I have multiple man's power. What do I do next? Join X-Factor? Wah, wah. But yeah, this game may look and sound like Super Metroid, but a more modern comparison would be to something like Braid or Limbo. I know that's high praise, those three games are as good as it gets, but the Swapper is right up there with them. This game is tremendous. A lot of the puzzles involve creating a clone just to stand on a button that opens a door or something like that. In some ways, especially at the beginning, it's pretty dang simple. But this game builds and builds from each puzzle to the next, and soon enough you'll be spending 30 or 40 minutes racking your brain trying to figure out how to solve this damn thing. Eventually, there's gravity flipping, some weird-ass environments, leaving piles of used-up clones behind in order to climb a corridor, and an irritable British lady. This game reminds me a lot of Limbo, and not just because of the visuals and the 2D environment. There's a lot of eureka moments where even if you're by yourself, you can't help but say out loud, Oh, that's what you do. This game does not hold your hand either, there's minimal dialogue and exposition. After some unintrusive text in the first couple puzzles, you're on your own. However, the story does insist on getting in the way once in a while, but there's no obnoxious, terribly acted cutscenes or anything in that realm. If there's anything that bothers me about the Swapper, is that it's almost too dark at times. I mean literally, I can't frickin' see anything. That gets old after a while. Also, there's a lot of backtracking, but I guess that kind of goes without saying with a game like this. But yeah, the Swapper is a very, very impressive piece of work. The puzzles are intuitive and addicting, the visuals and sound fit together perfectly, and the story is halfway interesting. You definitely get your money's worth with this game. The Swapper is available on Steam, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Mac, it's just about everywhere. So if you liked Super Metroid, you cannot go wrong here.